In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon his last and beloved Masjid Muhammad. And may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all. The title of this video is Disproving Evolution in one example. Now, as an introduction to this video, there are many theories that try to explain how life originated on this earth and its diversity. And the main problem with these theories is that they try to deny the existence of Allah God. They belittle the role of the Creator in all creation, all of this. And on top of these theories is a theory of evolution. Now, and we see that the person who denies the existence of Allah God, the atheist, he loves the theory of evolution so much because for him it gives him the scientific proof for his denying the existence of the Creator. Now, I will show in this video how to disprove the theory of evolution and all theories that deny the existence of the Creator. And I will do this by giving one example from the last liberation of Allah God to be with the Quran. And Allah God Almighty teaches us in the Quran how to disprove any theory that tries to deny the existence of Allah God and belittle his role in creation. We can find this in the Quran in chapter 29 verse 20 which states Say, travel in the earth and see how creation began and then Allah God will bring forth the creation of the hereafter. Verily, Allah God is able to do all things. Now in this Quran verse, Allah the Almighty tells us, travel in the earth and see how creation began. Meaning, we can deduce from this, that Allah the Almighty here is promising us that He will put signs in the earth, in what surrounds us, that will prove the manner by which Allah created everything. And in the Quran, as we'll see in this uh, lecture, Allah describes how He created everything, every living creature. And I will take one example here, which is the creation of, of humans, creation of the human being. Allah the Almighty in the Quran describes in perfect details how He created us. Now, for an atheist, if he thinks that this description in the Quran is a theory, a theory of creation for an atheist, now how to prove a theory? You prove a theory by matching its predictions with experimental findings. So I would, what I will do in this presentation, with the help of Allah God, is to prove each and every point on how Allah created us. Now if this is proven, it ceases to be the theory of creation, becomes the fact of creation. And if there is a fact of creation, then this disproves any other kind of theory that tries to explain how life originated and the diversity of creatures. So by proving the fact of creation, it disproves the theory of evolution. So let's begin. As I said, the example I will take here, the example of Allah, how Allah God created us humans. Now, Allah God Almighty in the Quran describes in details how He created humans and we can deduce from the Quran there are three main stages involved in this creation process. The first stage can be learned from the Quran from chapter 30 verse 20 which reads, And among His signs that He created you from the soil and then behold you are human beings scattered. So we can learn from this verse that the first stage in creation of humans is that Allah created us from the soil, from the soil. Now, as I said, for an atheist, if he believes that this is a theory, then the theory this stage predicts that since we are created from the soil, this means that if we analyze the soil, we should find a perfect match between the components of the soil and our body, because this is the raw material from which Allah created us. And if we do that, 
we find, for example, as you can see on the screen, this is, these are some elements comprising the human body. This is an example. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, iron, copper. And I also studied their percentage of the human, of the per percentage of body mass. We find oxygen, the highest uh, percentage, about 61%. And carbon, we have 20, about 23%, hydrogen 10%, nitrogen 2.6, calcium 1.43, iron 0 0.006, copper 0 0.0001. These are the percentage of these elements with regards to body mass. And if we also study the function of these elements, for example, the oxygen supplying energy to the cells for growth to occur in the human body, for calcium triggering cells to produce, and in the, in the makeup of load-bearing elements like bone, human bone, of load-bearing structures, iron and gas transport in the human body. So these are just some elements of the human body, their concentration and their function. Now if you compare these elements with the elements found in the soil, because Allah created this from the soil, so if you compare this with the elements found in the soil, we find, glory be to Allah God, there is a perfect match between these elements in the human body and in the soil. Exactly the same elements, and here we have oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, iron, copper in the soil. Exactly the same elements. Some of the elements I, I'm showing here, but the full list is exactly identical in the soil and the human body. And moreover, it's not only the names of the elements, but the concentrations as well. As we saw that oxygen has the highest concentration of a gas in the human body. And in the soil, oxygen has the highest concentration as well. The human body, oxygen, highest concentration of uh, gases in the soil, oxygen has the highest concentration as well. And calcium has the highest concentration of a solid, of a solid element in the human body and also in the soil. And also, not only the concentrations are identical, but also the function. For the function of uh, oxygen, as we saw in the human body, is supplying power and energy to the cells to uh, to produce and in the soil oxygen su supplies energy to plant cells for growth to occur one of its functions and calcium in the soil it triggers cells to produce and the build of load bearing elements like rocks for example and in the human body we found calcium has it having the same function of triggering cell uh, activity and in load bearing structures like bone and iron in the soil has the function of gas transport and in the human body the same function of gas transport. So we see, brothers and sisters, that this first stage of how of the Mika of how Allah created us, it can be proven one hundred percent from experimental findings. So as I said, it ceases to be a theory of creation, it becomes a fact of creation. Now the next stage in the creation of humans, we can learn it from the Quran, from chapter 37, verse 11, which reads, Then ask them, Are they stronger as creation or those whom Allah God has created? Verily, Allah God created them of sticky mud. So the second stage in the creation of humans, as Allah tells us in the Quran, that this soil is mixed with water, it became sticky mud. Sticky mud. That's the second stage of the creation of humans. Now, how to prove this? The one main characteristic of mud is its high water concentration. Of sticky mud, it has a very high water concentration. Now, if we analyze the concentration of water in our body, we find that water has a very big concentration and percentage of our body mass exactly like sticky mud. Sticky mud, uh, the water makes it, makes it uh, gives it you know, heavy, makes it so heavy. And as the human body, water makes up a large percentage of our body mass. So the second stage, again, can be proven by the high concentration of water in our body and in sticky mud. So we see there's a perfect match between the deductions from the theory and experimental findings and reality. The third stage, involved in the third, the third and last stage in the creation of human body, we can learn from the Qur'an in two places. 
in firstly in chapter 15 verse 26 which reads and indeed Allah God created the human from clay of heated mixture and in the next verse which is and in the next verse which is verse number 14 of chapter 55 of the Quran which reads he created the human from clay like the clay of pottery so the third stage that this sticky mud is heated up with mixing so it's a mixing and heating process where a clay is produced and this clay at the first stage it becomes like a paste then this clay is formed in the shape of the human body and the proof of this and Allah states in the Quran in chapter 38 verse 75 which reads Allah God said O Iblis, Satan, what prevented you from prostrating yourself to one whom I have created with both my hands? Are you too proud or are you one of the high exalted? So here Allah Almighty tells us that He shaped us like a person, and to Allah bring the best of examples, like a person who makes clay pots and clay kind of products, He shapes it from this paste, this um, like a potter's kind of paste. So. The last stage in creation of humans, that after we have this kind of uh, paste or this clay, it's formed in the shape of our body. It's a process of kind of uh, forming the shape. So we learn from this that we were created in this form. Not that we are, that we avoid from something else. Allah created us in this form and this image. So how to prove this? How to prove this last stage? Now, since Allah tells us in the Quran that He created us from clay, like that used in pottery, that this means that if we compare the mechanical characteristics of our body with that of um, pottery and, and uh, clay products, we need to find the same characteristics. So what I did is that if we look at this kind of uh, machine, this machine is a called universal testing machine and in this machine the specimens are placed and they are subjected to either tensile or compression forces and this machine draws the response curve from this force so it draws the response of the material to the applied force so if we place a bone specimen taken from the human body from our uh, bones and we place a specimen from clay and as you can see on the screen, this is the response curve of a clay specimen. We have on the y-axis the stress and on the x-axis the strain. And we find it's almost a straight line. And if we compare this response curve with the response curve of human bone, if we place a human bone, a specimen of human bone in the machine, we have, glory be to Allah Almighty, exactly a sim a, a, the same curve we have a perfect match between the two curves produced from a clay specimen and from human bone both ceramic materials as Allah says in the Quran that he created us from clay like that used in pottery so this proves the last stage of the creation of humans that we created from clay like that used in pottery so we see brothers and sisters how with the help of Allah Almighty I have proven each and every point on how Allah states in the Quran and created us. So this shows that we were created in this form. And this disproves any theory that tries to say that we, we evolved from something else like apes or other kind of creatures into this form. What I presented here, it ceases to be a theory of creation, becomes a fact of creation. And if we have a fact, we don't need any other theory. If we have the fact of creation as stated in the Quran, which can be proven with, with the experimental findings, with results, with experiments. So this disproves the theory of evolution. And the aim, one of the aims of what I'm saying is to bring people closer to Allah God Almighty because these theory, theories, and on top of them, the theory of evolution has driven so many people away from the Creator which brought them pain and despair in this life and the hereafter. And once again I re-emphasize 
that the reason that a person wants to believe so badly in the theory of evolution, not because it's very kind of, uh, it stands on a sound scientific basis, but because it gives him a scientific proof for his um, denying Allah God Almighty. And the reason that he denies Allah God Almighty because he doesn't want to be judged for his actions. He doesn't want to be um, judged. That is basically what uh, the main reason. But this is uh, false. There is judgment and there is the day of resurrection and you will be judged for your actions. So please, listen to what I'm saying and come to know the your Creator the most merciful Allah God Almighty and you will see in other videos of mine how your body is all based on mercy and to know more details about this topic please visit my website at www.quran-berkel.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you all